It was over pretty quick, to that be honest. Was... The sex at the end was a bit anticlimactic, but the seduction was, was powerful. I'm Johnny Huntsville, and this is a shitload of goats. <laughs> Hey, go. What are you looking at? Move on. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Uh. Still We're so hip hop. We're so hip hop that even at uh, even at the promotion of the Umbrella Academy, we got a job in catering. Got a million dollar ring in my E2 band. Yes, indeed, sir. God bless. Okay. Tell you, man, don't mind the men's section. Women's section. <laughs> One of the best kept secrets of vintage. Beautiful. Stun it. Stun <laughs> I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Go. Can you see in these? I'm afraid of the dark. I think yours is so much bigger than mine. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Hey, homeboy. Yeah. Ooh. Quite striking, eh? The sun hits your eyes, your eyes start to glimmer. So much energy! Hey, Forrest. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Think you go... You wanna go back home now? Yeah, I feel sad now. Is it true? Iwan only speaks Welsh. Iwan only speaks Welsh. It's his first and only language. And, and you know, it's, it's been hard, it's been difficult. But we've taught him what he needs to know for the show. For example, say those two lines that we were practicing today. I'm not a pedophile. And the other one? I want to piss on your tits. I want to piss on your tits. I want to piss on your tits. See, he's good. He's improving. Uh, Holy moly. Who knew that sitting around and talking could be so exhausting? Look, look at this guy, he's, he's almost in a coma. <laughs> there we go, then we can get the whole thing. What are we supposed to say? Yeah, here's the, we're sitting on a giant plastic swan called Captain Stephen Jessup of the British Navy. Hey boys, what are you doing? Cooking okay. some lunch. Ooh, lunch. Yeah, I'm making, Ooh. I'm making an evil salad. Balsamic e vinegar evil? makes it evil. Listen, nice. get, get your probiotics, sauerkraut, yeah? yeah. Fermented yeah. foods. <laughs> and he also made a sweet potato stew. Sweet. That's great. I to say, but I think you have really nice feet. Oh, thanks, my love. <laughs> I just had a pedicure. No, I don't have any tattoos. Why not? I, you know, I wish I had one tucked away somewhere that I couldn't show you, but I'm being absolutely honest. I have no ink. I'm pure as the driven snow, darling. And do you now have. I like the, the camera just went like that. What are you going down into my cleavage for a minute? Do you want to see a little bit? See a little bit of bomb there. Hello, guys. Robert Sheehan here saying vote yes for gay equality in Ireland and the rest of the world because let's face it, if you vote no, you're saying that gay people shouldn't have the same rights as straight people and you're basically homophobic. So vote yes. I tried to make each moment work. And when, when, you have a see, when you have a scene, you know. Children of the unseen. Hello, it's Robert here, one of your proud ambassadors. I'm here in Toronto. This isn't a US flag, incidentally. This is just a warm blanket because despite the warm weather, or the warm looking weather, it's fucking cold here in Toronto. Just a stiff breeze and it would make your nipples stand to attention, I tell you. <laughs> but anywho, we're here on the set, well not quite the set, but the circus, which is an industry word for where they keep all the trailers on location. Trailers and trucks, it's all very glamorous. The Circus of the Umbrella Academy, which is a new TV show for Netflix that's coming out early next year. 
uh, starring me and others, but they're less important. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having lots of fun, More, most importantly, when you're down in the acting class, because... <laughs> Really gonna get that gay clientele going. Tell you what, for you. see if you can. Oh, no one knows. I say if you can get your hands on. If I'm getting to a like plank position across here. Oh yeah. yeah. This is getting like a what? And you on top of you? This is like a camera center. Ready? Holy crap! I'm knackered from this catering job. It's really hard work being so hip hop. But that's okay. I'm still all right, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Also, I'm putting together a crowd fund to cure my carpal tunnel. So, if everybody could throw He's in like... He's exaggerating. We love meeting you. A quarter. Thank you so much. I'm in pain. I'm in terrible, terrible pain. He's fine. Thank He's fine. Um, so, someone yeah. just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, does Justin bully me? Yes, absolutely, he does. He oh, yeah. He's like, such a bully. He puts rotten meat on my chair by the set. He uh, yeah. stands outside my trailer. And shout, like shouts all sorts of like really kind of mean things. And one time he TP'd my trailer, which actually Tom Hopper helped with. So, you know, that was. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> End of the hour. Look at him, barely broke a fucking sweat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> now, watch this drag. So we've made our little seed balls, some of which were already starting to sprout. Indeed. Which is mental. I don't think. I think they'll be <clears throat> they'll be shrubs by the time uh, we give them out on Friday. <clears throat> so you take your string, you pop the thing, and away you go. Yeah, made Turn a ball. it into a little parcel, made so they don't fall out. It was legit, mate. It was legit. <laughs> and then you do the tiny thingy with jigs. Ba bum. Ta da! <coughs> Seed balls! Um, so, how do you communicate with him? You just. Usually we point at the thing, at the, the object. Of, hang on, hang on. Usually we point at the prop or object. We say, we say, pick it up. Now pick that up. Pick it up. And usually after a while of that, he gets the idea. You know, usually body language. That's how we all communicate. So have you been um, having a good experience learning your lines, Iran? Rayon. I want to piss on your tits. Yeah, I know. <laughs> let's get rid of the beard. Okay, there, let's, let's get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my... Oh, look at my... My teeth. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm calm down, actually. You know, it's sort of... Uh, it, it, it basically carries the load of living, yeah. you know, health. But now, yeah. modern science is starting to shift us more back towards... The gut. Yeah, and an ancient revelation. You know, what's so fascinating mm. to me about this podcast is we're talking to all these clever clog scientists who are essentially coming around to a scientific conclusion that kind of mirrors or parallels ancient thinking, you know? Yeah, yeah. Really fascinating. Well, it, what it is, is it, it makes you realize that all these modern things that we've been, that, that, so that the man-made things, right? So the man-made little twerks on on society so like twerks, fast food and <laughs> twerks all right i will uh, little little that's a little twerk on society right there oh yeah that's the good stuff um <laughs> yeah, I, just, I think that's just proven that neither of us can twerk it's young and fair fallen so sweetly she grew coffin board hard stone lay on her breast 
I vex my heart alone. She is at rest. Peace, peace. She cannot hear lyre or sonnet. All my life's buried here. Heap earth upon it. Oscar Wilde knew what he was doing. Happy Paddy's Day, Americans! Oh, fiddle dee dee! Let's dye our rivers green and all wear stupid hats and get really annoyingly drunk.